Hey, what's up guys? It's been a while. Really happy to say that um, I have time to work on my own car. Um, there's a drift event coming up next uh, Saturday. Mm, it might be I'll be able to attend one on Friday night. But I've been just busy with uh, shop work and install. Today even I installed the turbo and uh, did a custom tune. Though the, uh, the clutch was the stock clutch was actually starting to slip, but anyhow, I haven't been really like filming anything because it's the same thing over and over. Had a bunch of custom tunes and all that, but as you can see, I made a shelf on this thing, uh, some type of uh, workbench right there, so that I could just move all the stuff from there because that replaces the tire machine and the balancer I bought some cheap Chinese brand. Those who don't know, this is my new shell. The donor car that we bought from Copart and basically sold the engine and transmission, harness everything to Orion's car and transfer it over there. The more I think about it, the shell needs to be junked. There are a few reasons why. Um, the first the and main reason is, since this is all smashed up right here, um, the subframe is somewhat the kind of mangle too. So, like, we tried everything to uh, adjust the toe and it's just not like working properly. So, I mean, it's time to go. I could swap out the uh, subframe, but anyway, this damage is a lot more than like this right here. As you can see, this whole face is like lifted up. So, um, aesthetically, I mean, I'm not trying to make this, this car nice or anything, but it's just not going to work out for me. So my goal for this thing is transfer engine transmission from there and some of the um, aftermarket parts that I put inside, transfer over here, then just make this car a little bit nicer than what it is, kind of salvage everything and basically junk the whole shell to the um, junkyard. This would be the part one, basically me dropping the engine and transmission from this car and add the BK2 turbo with the external wastegate. Those who don't know, uh, we did have some footages here and there. So this does have the BK2 harnesses in there for 2.0. The subframe, this thing's rock solid. Um, obviously body damage wise. It's way less. There are like small damages everywhere, but it's not like that at least. So I'll probably eventually work on it. Thick. And um, that's what it is. So I already transfer the suspension from this car to over here. Got the BC coilovers. I already installed the uh, welded differential that we just worked on recently in here. And suspension wise, toe, camber, everything looks solid. Unlike this thing right here. Today my goal is to just drop the engine transmission from here, just kind of inspect it, install the external wastegate BK2 turbo right there, and possibly drop the engine transmission in here tomorrow. The whole reason why I want to kind of jump on this shell as well is basically after riding in because daddy's car it was all gutted out and nice and light you know the 240s are like lo really light as is and you make a little bit of horsepower or a little bit more power it's just going to be a lot more effective than just having the heaviest car I had the full interior ac everything so now i'm trying to gut everything as much as possible inside uh, still making it, you know, nice and decent and also Like I'll probably delete the AC and all that stuff from here So that it's a little bit lighter more powerful with a bigger turbo So it's gonna be more fun Before I do anything, I'm going to go under, drop the exhaust, uh, drop the drive shaft, undo everything underneath, 
So I could just literally pull it out from the front. Just gonna drop the whole exhaust together. So I could just put transfer everything to the other car, but before I do that, I might um, have to use a bigger pipe. Because my car is so like quiet in a way. So maybe all three inches instead of two and a half. So this one I could probably use it for another uh, or to manual. So if anyone's interested, I have one for you. This is a little sketchy, but the transmission's literally just kind of... I mean, it's connected to the freaking engine, and the engine's connected to the motor mounts. So I don't want to lift up the car again, so I just basically disconnected everything. Shift the linkage, um, all the ground speed sensor so nothing's really connected on this side or whatever so all I had to do is undo all the harnesses to the engine undo everything and undo the motor mount and ready to come off I probably had to remove the radiator and all that little stuff over here that's not really necessarily needed it was disconnected because I when I did the BK2 turbo kit with the 3.8 radiator blah 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 I just didn't have the BK1 radiator hose so I disconnected it from this one just kind of sway away all the harnesses from here to there get it out of the way I don't want to drain the uh, fresh oil that's in the engine so basically just oil cooler just stays here zip tied the whole thing will come out together I had to undo the power steering because it's which is making a little bit of mess but I don't care because obviously this is going to go to the junkyard. Alright, so the engine is ready to come out. I got a little helper here. Where you at, man? What are you doing? You want to just give me hands? You just got to watch, huh? What? That's I just fun. having fun. Alright, go away. Alright, bye bye. It's about 10 after 10. I'm about to head home. Like I said, I, the, uh, like I said, my plan was to undo the intake manifold and the turbo. So I got that part done. I might just stay a little bit longer to just kind of inspect the uh, transmission, especially the clutch. That competition chatters a lot, but it just sometimes, especially after that differential blue. I just wanted to, like, while at it, I want to just check everything. Um, so I'll probably end up maybe undo the transmission while it's just so easy to get to. I could probably undo this thing in, like, 20 minutes all the way to the flywheel. Yeah, that's, that's why we torque them down. And obviously, we clutch kick a lot in the um, when we're drifting. So that's what I'm going to do. But uh, this is the part one. I hope uh, this new um, video is a little bit more um, interesting because I know the fact that um, you know some of the videos are just boring and dry but you gotta understand that I'm not like making money off of YouTube or <clears throat> you know I do this for a living um, you know I, when, I, when I'm actually working on customers cars you know they are paying me four hours you know so I, I can't just slow down and that's why I'm like oh I, I got this done I got this done I'm just pointing it out whenever I get a chance sometimes I don't even have a chance to actually film anything so something like this after hours working on my car I'll you know I'll try to take as much time as I can to just film everything and maybe you know throw in some cool editing and stuff like that I did try 
Hope you guys liked it. Um, if you liked it, you know, hit the like button and make sure to let me know, you know, leave some comments and I'll go from there. And on the part two, I'll be prepping the body, which is gonna be probably next week. I'm gonna dry ice everything and just gonna take out some sound editings and transfer the steering wheel and I'll probably put a racing seat that's was supposed to be going into the S14 that's just been sitting there for a while. I'm gonna be making some custom rails and stuff like that for this car. It's kind of easy to make compared to the S14. And just reorganize everything inside, try to gut as much as I can. Um, take the AC unit out and whatever that's not needed, I'll take it off and I'll have to like block some of the stuff like this and that's pretty much it but i'll film as much and once again thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video